One UI 6.1 is finally here for last year's devices. It started rolling out on March 28th, so a couple days ago. I've got it on the Tab S9. I don't have it for the Z Fold 5 yet, but my girl does have it for the S23. First things first, if you don't have it installed already, go ahead and swipe down, go into your settings, scroll all the way down until you get to software update, and then you're gonna tap on download and install and see if you have the latest update. If you do, go ahead and download and install One UI 6.1. Once you have One UI 6.1 installed, you're gonna notice a big change right off the bat. And that is with our navigation gestures, if you're using gestures instead of buttons. So in the past, we've always had three little gesture swipes down here. This one would pull up our recent apps, this one would bring us home, and the one over to the right would go back one screen, right? So if we were in here, open up the gallery, we'll go here and go back a screen and back a screen. That's our traditional gestures. For One UI 6.1, Samsung has simplified things. Now what you're gonna do is you'll swipe up from the bottom and pause right here where the three dots are. So you're gonna go like that. Then you'll have your recent apps up here. Go ahead and open up an app. We go into it. Now instead of going down here to the right to go back, you just do it from either side of the screen, which is really nice on tablets. So we can just go back a screen just like that. And to get back home, it's just like it always was. Just tap somewhere blank on the screen like this, or you just go ahead and do the same gesture again. Now, if you don't like the new One UI 6.1 gestures, download and install Samsung Goodlock from the Samsung Galaxy Store. Open up Navstar. Make sure you have Navstar turned on, and then you're gonna have Enable Extra Gesture Settings. Go ahead and toggle this on. And now what we'll do is we'll go back into our main tablet settings. We're gonna go down to Display. We'll go down to We See Navigation Bar. Here we go. And you'll see here I'm using Swipe Gestures, so we'll go into More Options. And you'll see here we have two options, Swipe from Bottom and Swipe from Sides and Bottom. The Swipe from Bottom is our old school legacy gesture, so now we have this back. Right, so we have our recent apps, the middle one is home, and this one takes you back. So we'll go back to our recent apps, go into our settings, and we can toggle back and forth between the One UI 6.1 nav bar and the One UI 6.0 nav bar. I do have a full tutorial on setting this up. If you have any problems, I'll go ahead and link that video down in the description. A new feature added to One UI 6.1 is Google Circle to Search. So with Google to Search, you can have a web page open, YouTube, photo, anything you want. You can even have your camera open with live view. So no matter what you have on your screen, you'll just go ahead and press down here where this white bar is, press and hold it, and that opens up Google's circle to search. So once you have this open, it's just like you would think. You can go ahead and circle anywhere to search on an item. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so we're looking for the S24 Ultra. So what's cool is once you're in this interface, you can go ahead and just tap to move between different images. You don't have to circle all the time. And you'll also notice you don't have the ability by default to like scroll. To scroll, you're gonna use two fingers up top. This will scroll through like long web pages. Sorry, the tablet's moving around a little bit. And the other cool thing too is we can take this little white bar here in the middle. We can expand our results or we can just get out of Google circle to search entirely. So a couple things about circle to search. When you have it enabled, it basically takes over as your digital assistant which at first is kind of cool when you're playing around with it, but you may not like that after a while, and you may want to use Google Assistant or Bixby. So if you want to enable either one of those assistants, go into your settings, scroll down until we get to apps. Then once you're in apps, go ahead and choose default apps. Then you want to pick on digital assistant app, and then you want digital assistant app again. And here you have a list of all the digital assistants installed on your device, and you can go ahead and swap out Google for whatever else you want. Another thing you might notice when circle to search is enabled is our taskbar is quite a bit bigger than it usually is. So we can go ahead and shrink that down a little bit. Let me show you how to do that. You're gonna scroll down into your settings till we get to display. And then you wanna scroll down until you see navigation bar. And then we have circle to search. Now look what happens when I turn circle to search off. Taskbar just got smaller, just got bigger. Got smaller, got bigger. So if you do get tired of using circle to search, just remember to come back here, disable this, and that's gonna get rid of this white bar and make your taskbar a little bit smaller. Another thing that's new with One UI 6.1 is we have enhanced battery protection. Go ahead and go into your main settings, tap on battery, and then you'll see this battery protection toggle. In previous versions of One UI, like One UI 6.0 here, this is merely a toggle. It just turns on and off. However, in One UI 6.1, if you tap on the battery protection text, we have three different levels of battery protection. We have basic, 
adaptive, and maximum. With basic, it'll max your charge out to 100%, and then when it dips down and below 95%, it'll trickle the charge back up again. With adaptive, it gets to know your sleep cycle, and then it's gonna charge it up to 80% until about an hour or so before you wake up, and then it's gonna to top off your phone to 100% before you wake up. And then we have Maximum. Maximum is just like the uh, battery protection toggle on previous versions, except instead of stopping the charge at 85%, it now stops charging at 80%. Another thing that's changed, and this isn't really for the good though, is if you go into your settings on your Samsung Galaxy phone. This isn't present on the tablets, but it is on the phones. You go into lock screen and AOD, and you're gonna notice here that we do not have a brightness slider anymore for our AOD, always on display. However, according to a couple Reddit posts, it looks like we are about to get it soon in an update. So uh, if you're missing out on that brightness slider for your always on display, it looks like we will be having it soon. Now let's go ahead and talk about the artificial intelligence features that are baked into One UI 6.1. To get a feel for AI, go into your settings, scroll down until you get to advanced features, and once you're in there, you're gonna have artificial intelligence. And once you're in advanced intelligence, you're gonna get a breakdown of all the AI features that are available on your device. And do keep in mind that those features will vary depending on the type of device you have. Like here we have some phone AI features which are not available on the tablet. And before we wrap this part up, I do want to mention at the bottom of the list, we do have process data only on device. So if you don't want to partake in the cloud AI services, you can go ahead and turn this on to only use your local data. One more thing before we start talking about all the AI features, I do want to mention that it does look like later this year, Samsung is likely going to introduce a paywall for most of these AI features. I don't know how that's going to shape up yet, but just be prepared for that, that this is likely not going to remain free. All right, the first AI feature we're gonna discuss is Chat Assist. Go ahead and open up your text messaging app. You'll see here I have a message from Samsung. They declined my Galaxy Book 3 trade in until I had to open up a chat with them and let them know I have videos and photos. Once again, issue resolved. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and start typing in a text message. And as you're typing along and have your text message going, you're gonna see this little AI icon. Go ahead and tap on that. You're gonna see some options here. It'll take your text and do a remix. We can show it in like Shakespeare language here, which gets kind of hilarious here. You have all this stuff here. We have chill, lyrical. So you have all these different verbiages and different moods to try to express how you feel in text messaging. I personally don't use this stuff, but here you go. If you want to try it out, you can basically have uh, AI dictate how your texts are going to look based upon what you have in your text message. Interesting stuff. Next up, we have Note Assist. You're going to open up Samsung Notes, open up a note, and then tap on anywhere in the note, and then go ahead and start editing the note. And what you want to do is go into keyboard mode, and once you do, you're going to see your AI button right there in the middle. Go ahead and tap on that, hit the OK button. Right, you see it's going to present these four options here, auto format, summarize, correct spelling, and translate. And you're going to see it's going to highlight a lot of your text in blue. But as you can see here, it didn't do all of it. So we can grab this bar right here, we can expand on that. And we can go ahead and tell it to auto format, and we get a couple auto format options here, headers and bullets or meeting notes. So let's go ahead and try headers and bullets. It's gonna go ahead and generate a new note based on our handwritten note for us. And there we go. Look what it did, that's pretty sweet. If we go back, we'll go ahead and expand it again so we can do a summarize. Let's try this real quick. All right, it's gonna take our note and just do a quick summary of it. That's pretty sweet. We have the correct spelling option. We'll go ahead and tap on that. Let's see what it does. Whatever, it looks all right. And then we also have the translate option. Now the first time you pick on this, you'll be able to pick all your languages that you want to add, and then it's going to remember your default. So here we have English to Spanish. You can go ahead and pick from all the languages that you have installed, or go ahead and add another language. And you'll see here it transcribed the note from English to Spanish. So some pretty cool AI features built into Samsung Notes. The next new AI feature is Generative Edits, and this allows us to do touch-ups on our photos. So we're going to go ahead and open up a gallery. All right, so we'll go ahead and open up a photo. And then up here in the top right, you're going to have the edit icon, which looks like a pencil. All right, once we're in the edit section, depending on what you're doing on this side, you're going to have our AI button down here on the lower right. So you'll see here we're in the straighten section, right? So we can straighten up this photo. But the thing is, it makes it all wonky until we use the AI feature. So check this out. We'll go ahead and tap on the AI button. So we have some cool options here. It lets you know you can tap or draw around anything to go ahead and crop it out of the rest of the image. And we also have the AI ability here to do a clean straighten. So you see how it removes this background here? Because that's not part of the picture, right? 
there was no picture taken for this area where we have the little bars, right? So we can go ahead and tilt our image like that and do cool stuff like this. We'll go ahead and generate, give it just a little bit, takes a little bit to work its magic, and then it looks like this. It went ahead and filled in all these edges for us, gives us a nice clean photo. So it basically fills in your background artificially no matter what you do with your image. So with generative AI, we can take our photos a lot further than we've ever been able to before. Another cool feature is Live Translate. Let's go ahead and turn the speakerphone on, crank up that volume, turn on Call Assist, Live Translate. Hey baby, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing well. What do you want to have for dinner? What about you? I don't have much hunger, but I'm ready. I'm not too hungry for a great trip. All right. So as you can see, it's got a little bit of work to do. All right. Thanks, baby. It was great talking with you. I'll talk to you later. Let's see if it says adios. <laughs> All right, it's pretty hilarious. Those are just some of the cool features that we have in One UI 6.1. If you have any questions or comments about One UI 6.1 or this video, please drop down in the comments section below. I really do appreciate your time, and as always, thanks for watching.